Now, slimline coach belts are a growing trend in the market, and the new Adria Compact is just 2.12 metres wide. Let's go and see what you get in a vehicle of that size. Adria has reintroduced the Compact model for 2016 in two layouts, this SP, which is six metres long, or a fraction under, and the SL, which is 6.6 .6 metres and has single beds at the back instead of a double. Both vehicles are 2.12 metres wide, so usefully a good 20 centimetres or so narrower than traditional coach-built widths. And you can see that where the cab and the habitation area join. There's barely any difference in width. This uh, latest model also has a very neat look to it. It's available in a selection of external colours as well. And it's, uh, of course, a three and a half tonne motorhome. So it's the sort of vehicle that anybody feel, should feel comfortable driving. As it's Adria's anniversary year, it comes with an anniversary pack, which includes things like the reversing sensors and the window in the door and a host of other features. You can also see the latest Adria tail end styling, which is the same from this 45 grand compact up to the big Sonic Supreme A-classes. It's also got, although it's only a small vehicle, it's also got a very useful amount of garage storage. So if you want to carry a a bike or two, um, maybe there's lots of outdoor furniture, or if you've got a, a sport or activity that needs space to store gear, then there's plenty of room in there. Now, the front of this vehicle is all fairly conventional, but it's quite nicely thought out. You've got this little side seat in front of the wardrobe, and although it may not be the most comfortable seat, it does make quite a good footrest. It's also a nice little extra perch if perhaps an unexpected visitor comes. If you're travelling with kids, then although this is only a three berth vehicle, it might be one for day trips as well. And you can have Isofix as an option for children's car seats on the half dinette there. Rather like the Perspex surround to the window, nice modern touch that too. And also the table extension is very simple to use and it's got a nice plastic moulding underneath it so you're not actually handling the mechanism. Upholstery is neatly finished and there's lots of light in this vehicle. Just look at the size of that over cab sunroof. That's got to be one of the, the biggest in its class. And in the evening, they haven't forgotten that you might want to read in these cab seats because they are probably the best pews in the house. But you've got these little reading lights on either side. And because this is a narrow vehicle, Adria have tried really hard to give it a feeling of space. Now part of that is down to the light colours in here, but also look at these concave cupboards. They really do give an extra feeling of space in the vehicle, but there's still a decent amount of storage inside and height adjustable shelves too. And this vehicle's £45,000, which is a, a sensible price, but it's competing with van conversions often at at more, more money than that, and yet it's got a little bit extra. Now you can see that this is a narrow-bodied vehicle, and if there is a compromise, it's in the distance between the bathroom and the kitchen. But if you're not too largely built, it shouldn't be an issue. You've got a decent-sized fridge, plenty of drawer space in the kitchen too, and I like this finish when you've got this very different uh, dark grey sort of charcoal -y effect here, which contrasts nicely with the, the lighter finish used elsewhere in the vehicle to, to give more of a feeling of space. Again, these concave cupboards above, and this L-shape combined hob and sink does free up a bit of worktop in a compact space, so that's, that's a very practical touch. On the style side, you've got this nice splashback behind the kitchen too, and again, a little uh, spice rack. Now, moving to the practicalities in the bedroom area, as well as the wardrobe under the foot of the bed, which is uh, a very good size, they've really thought about access to the bedroom area. So you've got these flip down steps and a big sturdy grab handle as well. So if your mobility isn't the best, or you've been to the pub perhaps, 
access to this good sized double bed is very good. Window at one end, reading lights at the other, so that's sensible too. And then there is a very sophisticated TV bracket. Swings right round, so you can have the TV positioned to watch in the lounge, or it can swing round the other way for watching in bed. The washroom also uses its space quite cleverly. Swivel the toilet out of the way and swing this shower door around and you've got quite a good, almost separate shower. You still have a bit of wet floor, but you have got two drain holes in the shower tray, so that's quite a good touch too. Then the wash basin, you might be wondering where that is, and that just flips down from the wall. It's what uh, Adria referred to as an ergo bathroom. Behind that, there's a big mirror and also some slim shelved storage. So in all, quite a good use of space in there.